Hey everyone, this is Mazen Salah in this video. I'm going to show you how to fix this exception, which says there's already an open data reader associated with this connection, which must be closed first. In actuality, there are multiple causes for this exception, and also it may appear in different types of C Sharp projects. Here, as you can see, I'm working on an ASP.NET MVC project. This is the controller, and the exception appears in this action, which is index index of the admin controller let me open the project to see where exactly this exception appears so i run the project i'll go to the control panel area so control panel you can see if i open users and then go to this page which is admins this exception will pop up as you can see and it is here in this action i'm trying to extract every user that has the role admin by connecting these two entities which are the user rules and the users and for that i'm using a nested for loop and the error says there's already an open data reader but i think this error message has nothing to do with the actual cause of this problem so let's find out what is the real reason behind the problem first let me shut down the program if i hover on this var as you can see this expression returns a variable of this type which is i includable queryable but actually we need to return a list not this one so here what i have to do is to convert the return of this expression into a list by using the method to list so here if i say to list if we hover on the var we can see that the type is list of type t and t is user role now i can iterate on this variable or this list without any problem now let's use this to list to the second variable here so here i'll say to list parentheses now let's run the project to see if we fix the problem so i'll click https go to the control panel area so here i'll say control panel users and then admins now you can see that we don't have that exception anymore this page opens without any problem if i click on it there is no problem because here in this action we're iterating through a list variable not through that weird type so that's everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have an idea for the next video please type it in the comment section and please make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video